The numbers are staggering. Remote Area Medical has provided 785,000 people with free health care at clinics just like the one you see behind me since it began in 1985. Every volunteer is so critical to the cause. But one woman stands out for developing a system to keep track of every patient who comes through the doors. She is our focus in this week's Positively Tennessee. Kay Sisko started volunteering with Remote Area Medical at two back-to-back -back in September 2013. She wanted to do something in honor of a close friend who had just passed away. I told myself, you can either sit around and mope because you're not going to be going to Ireland with Sheila, or you can get out and do something. Kay served as a guide for patients coming into the clinic. I just help people go from place to place and make sure they got where they were going. Turns out those first two clinics were just the beginning of Kay's relationship with Ram. Kay, what was it about remote area medical that made you keep coming back? My heart was really breaking for the people that were there. So Kay expanded her volunteer hours, traveling to help out at Ram clinics in Baltimore, Maryland, Buffalo, New York, San Bernardino, California, and Alamo, Texas, all within one year. So I was on the East Coast, the West Coast, the Canadian border, and the Mexican border. All this while maintaining a full-time job as budget director for university housing at UT. During a busy move-in week this week, she still makes time to come into RAM headquarters, evenings, and on her days off, working on a computerized program she created to keep up with every patient receiving help through RAM. Kay has streamlined the patient registration system. Uh, she um, has worked over the past six, seven years. So as Kay looks at and appreciates each thank you card from grateful patients that Ram displays on a special board. I don't think I've ever worked a clinic that somebody hasn't left and said thank you. It's our turn to say thank you to Kay Sisko for helping remote area medical continue to make a difference in so many lives. Wow, what a special woman. She is. And we know that volunteers are the key to nonprofits. Yes. So do they need volunteers right now? How many, do they have a ballpark of how many they have on staff as well? Well, they always need volunteers, yeah. as you know, Kristen. And listen to this, 135,000 volunteers have helped through the years. Wow. Yes, uh, remote area medical, though, is always in need of doctors, dentists, optometrists, ophthalmologists, and people like you and me who can help get patients checked in and make them feel comfortable. So if you're interested in volunteering, just go to our website, wate.com, in the As Seen On section. I can't think of a more worthwhile cause to volunteer for you'll than see, RAM. Yeah. You'll feel so fulfilled. 